Hey, welcome back to the Car Doctor channel. I'm Tim. I'm here at my repair shop, Donor Automotive in Anchorage, Alaska. Got a quick tip for you on these F-150s, probably year model 2012 through maybe 2016, 3.7 motor. Symptom of uh, extended cranking, hard starting, maybe even stalling uh, as you come to an idle. Uh, after filling the fuel tank, you may also be accompanied with the illuminated check engine light, stored code PO1450 or a PO455456 or 457. Watch this video and you're watching the Car Doctor channel. Hey, welcome back. Uh, customer complaint of uh, extended cranking after filling the fuel tank. This particular vehicle was not accompanied with the symptom of a uh, stalling condition. However, that can exist, especially in this case after you release the gas pedal coming back to an idle. But off idle should not affect stalling, at least this particular problem. It also does not have any associated check engine light or codes uh, connected to the EVAP system, but that may well be the case for you. So anyway, got a couple quick things to check and verify. Doesn't really even require a scan tool. Check this out. All you really need to do here is pop the hood. There's a common problem with the EVAP system purge control solenoid on these vehicles sticking open. And basically the test would be to disconnect the purge uh, electrical connector and the vacuum hose and then start the vehicle and check for a, for a vacuum. With the electrical connector disconnected and the uh, vacuum hose off, there should be no engine vacuum there. It should be shut off and if it's stuck open and there's vacuum, well then you got a bad purge solenoid. So here's the location of the purge valve. It's on the front top of the motor, uh, just in front of the upper plenum. Here's the electrical connector. Just uh, pop that loose, disconnect that. And then you got to uh, pop this green deal off of the purge hose. I kind of reach under with my fingers and push these buttons in and that'll allow you to release this this green retainer for the purge valve okay so we've got it completely disconnected there and this is the port that you're going to check for vacuum at we'll go ahead and start the motor there should be no vacuum here with the electrical connector disconnected let's see what we got Feel, and we've got we've got a bunch of back in there. You can just feel it. We could put a gauge on there, but there's no need to. It's got definite back in there. That valve is bad. Okay, let's change this bad boy out here. It's really a pretty quick fix. Basically remove these two retaining bolts. I'm just using a uh, 5 16 or 18 millimeter socket. Remove the two bolts. Pull them out so I don't drop them and just pull gently up on the valve itself. Now, make sure you still have the O-ring there. Uh, remove the valve and we'll go ahead and replace it. Here's another thing you can do if you just got the valve off. You shouldn't be able to blow through it, which you can blow through this one. So. Can't quite tell if it's just 
full of a bunch of carbon or the valve itself, I believe, gets sticky. Uh, Solona just doesn't fully close again. Should not be able to uh, blow through it. So here in this case is the replacement valve, which I only suggest using the Motorcraft part. Um, good luck on the aftermarket. I just wouldn't suggest it. And uh, with the new one, cannot blow through it. That's the way it should be. Let's put this bad boy in. Again, make sure your O-ring is intact and just gently press it straight down in. Install the two retainer bolts. Connect your hose, fully engage your locking mechanism, fully engage the wiring. Now that repair is done. Okay, uh, one thing you might do if you have access to a scan tool, I would go ahead and clear the keep alive memory on this. In the process of the valve being hung open and it purging all the time, which is drawing the vapor out of the uh, fuel system, even when it's not supposed to be. That'll create a rich condition because the computer thinks the purge valve's closed and that it's not uh, sucking any of the fuel vapors in to be burnt. It is going to think we're rich here. So uh, your fuel trims may be off. Uh, your idle control settings, uh, learn values may be affected as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear the keep alive memory. Um, it may or may not be a necessary part of the repair, but uh, we like to do that to bring the fuel trims back and then we can monitor things and uh, confirm the repair was a uh, success. But I have no doubt that this one's back on the road. It was really a quick fix and one I thought I'd share with you uh, because most DIY type individuals can make this repair, uh, quickly diagnose it by, you know, doing like what I said, checking for vacuums. It's just not going to require any special tools or equipment.